Star Wars are not just another extension of a crisis of hegemony between two countries anymore. Nobody is questioning the staging of the Apollo mission. We know that space travel is here, and soon enough, ordinary people like us would be setting station on Mars. As the countdown begins for Flight 4 of SpaceX's monumental journey, a new chapter unfolds. With the announcement of a groundbreaking addition to the mission's timeline hot staging jettison, a wave of curiosity sweeps through the aerospace community. Join us as we delve into the depths of SpaceX's latest endeavor, dissecting the intricacies of hot staging and its pivotal role in the journey towards reusable rockets. As we navigate through the details of Flight 4's blueprint, questions emerge. What secret do the images captured during previous flights hold? Could the jettisoning of the hot staging ring pave the path for a new era of innovation in rocket design? Let's find out in today's video. SpaceX's Starship S-29, after a successful wet dress rehearsal on May 20th, was swiftly separated from its booster B-11. Defying expectations of a return to the production site, the duo remained stationary, particularly S-29. Once grounded, the team wasted no time in upgrading the ship's heat shield system. In a bold move, SpaceX has revised its Launch 4 blueprint, introducing a jettison protocol during the hot staging phase. This strategic change is set to revolutionize the launch process. With a brief 5-day interlude, S-29 was reattached to B-11. By the evening of May 25th, S-29 took its place amidst the top sticks, heralding the onset of the full-stack operation. The assembly was completed by midday on May 26th in a swift one-hour process. Recent imagery showcases a near-complete heat shield with only a couple of areas pending which are expected to be tiled shortly. As we look beyond the full stack, speculation abounds regarding a potential second wet dress rehearsal for S-29 and B-11 aiming to bolster system reliability. SpaceX has earmarked a 12-hour window on May 28th, 29th, and 30th for further tests, which may include a check of the water deluge system after a period of dormancy. Subsequently, the installation of the Flight Termination System, or FTS, for both the booster and the ship will mark the final preparation stages. With these milestones achieved, the countdown to the June 5th Flight 4 liftoff begins. The anticipation is palpable, with SpaceX's latest update indicating significant hardware enhancements to the S-29 and B-11 prototypes, underscoring the company's commitment to safety and reusability in space exploration. SpaceX's Flight 4 is on the cusp of making history with its much-anticipated landing process. The mission is set to introduce a groundbreaking update, the hot staging jettison. Scheduled at precisely 3 minutes and 54 seconds into the flight, this maneuver will see the removal of the hot staging ring, a key component that has significantly improved the separation of the booster and ship since its debut in Flight 2. The hot staging technique, reminiscent of Russian missile designs, employs a ring to channel the heat and pressure generated during stage separation, safeguarding both stages and bolstering the separation's reliability. This method not only protects the spacecraft, but also allows for uninterrupted engine operation, eliminating thrust gaps and enhancing Starship's overall efficiency, boosting payload capacity by an impressive 10%. SpaceX's decision to jettison the hot staging ring post-separation is a strategic move to shed mass, streamline the booster's aerodynamics, and perfect the landing balance. This innovative step was initially trialed during Flight 3, and recent images from space engineer Ryan Hansen have provided tantalizing evidence of its success. At T plus 6 minutes and 47 seconds, as the booster neared the ocean's surface, a subtle yet significant change was detected. The shadow of the hot staging ring vanished, suggesting its successful detachment. SpaceX's pursuit of a fully reusable rocket has led to a fascinating development in their Flight 4 mission. The hot staging ring, a hefty component weighing around 10 tons, has been a topic of intense speculation. While it has served its purpose well in facilitating stage separation, SpaceX's decision to jettison it has raised eyebrows. Could this indicate a shift towards a more optimal design? The current hot staging ring, despite its effectiveness, 
may not represent the pinnacle of SpaceX's engineering capabilities. A lighter, simpler design could be on the horizon, potentially resembling the N1 rocket system with its elongated form and expansive vents. This new design would not only streamline the energy redirection process, but also reduce the rocket's complexity and mass. Elon Musk's recent presentation hinted at such advancements, suggesting that Starship version 2 might incorporate these innovations. However, SpaceX may not wait that long. The hot staging jettison executed in Flight 4 could be a strategic move to test the waters for this new design, which might make its debut as early as Flight 5. Rocket Lab has marked a significant milestone with the launch of the Ready Aim pre fire mission, propelling the first of two cutting edge NASA Earth Science satellites into space. Celebrating its seventh anniversary, Rocket Lab's Electron rocket soared into the skies from New Zealand on May 25th, deploying a sophisticated 6U CubeSat into a precise 525 km sun synchronous orbit. This CubeSat is a key player in NASA's pre-fire mission, which stands for Polar Radiant Energy in the Far Infrared Experiment. The pre-fire mission is a bold step forward in climate research, focusing on the polar regions' infrared emissions to fill critical data voids and enhance our climate models. With thermal infrared specters on board, the CubeSat will measure the energy radiated from the Earth's poles, providing valuable insights into sea ice loss, ice sheet melting, and sea level rise. Rocket Lab's recent launch was a textbook operation, overcoming initial ground wind delays to achieve a flawless deployment. The CubeSat has since begun its in-orbit checkout phase. A twin satellite is poised for launch aboard another Electron rocket shortly, aiming to join its counterpart in a different orbital plane for a comprehensive study of our planet's poles. The Ready Aim pre-fire mission isn't just a routine satellite deployment, it's a leap towards understanding our changing world. The pre-fire CubeSat will crisscross over the Arctic and Antarctica, capturing thermal infrared radiation data that will sharpen our climate predictions and help us prepare for the impacts of global warming. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket has been a game-changer for space exploration, especially for those who rely on the data it provides. Farmers, fishermen, and coastal communities have found its contributions invaluable for adapting to our planet's changing environment. This year, Electron celebrated its sixth launch and an impressive 48th mission overall. It's a poignant reminder of its journey, starting with a launch seven years ago that didn't quite make it to orbit. Peter Beck, the visionary CEO of Rocket Lab, has always seen Electron as more than just a rocket. It's a promise of precision and punctuality for small satellite deployments. The pre-fire mission is a testament to this, showcasing Electron's unique ability to meet the exacting demands of dedicated launches. While Rocket Lab set an ambitious goal of up to 22 launches this year, including two suborbital missions, they faced the all-too-familiar dance of schedule shifts with their customers. During a recent earnings call, Beck candidly shared the challenges of hitting their target, likening it to a game of manifest whack-a-mole. Despite these hurdles, there's a steady confidence in their tone, a belief that while they may not hit 22, they'll come close. Rocket Lab's journey this year is more than just about numbers, it's about resilience and innovation. As they continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with Electron, the world watches with bated breath. Their process isn't just exciting for the company, it's a thrilling chapter in the ongoing space race. With more missions booked than ever before, Rocket Lab is on track to make 2024 a landmark year. They've already made strides towards reusability with the successful splashdown of Electron's first stage, a leap towards making Electron the world's first reusable small orbital rocket. As SpaceX brings us closer to become intergalactic space travelers, the obstacles in the way seem to be eliminated through a resourceful anticipation and intellect of the most genius minds entrapped for the same objective. What do you guys think though? Would this be the moment when Flight 4 takes off and turns the next page in history? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing updates.